Alright guys, we're back. This is part three of Kill to Grill. Got my gloves on. If you're a man over 50, don't panic. We're just cutting up the turkey breast today. So, we're down to the processing. We're going to take off. I'll get a piece out for you so we can take a look at it. Here's part of our turkey breast. We're going to cut it. We're going to take off any of this silver skin that we can get just because it's a little tough. That's your muscle sheath on the outside of the bird. Got us an extra plate here to throw on. That gets anything that's going to off put the taste or make it a little tough. That gets it out. So we strip off all that that we can. If there was any bloodshot, we get rid of that because that takes off from the taste. And what we're doing on this killing grill is the way we think is the best way to prepare a turkey. It's the best health wise, it's the best taste wise. I don't know, you can make a case that fried, you don't really get any better than fried and I'm with you on that. But this will surprise you if you've never done one this way. Alright, once we get anything that's going to off put the flavor, if you watch, we're going to go with the grain on the big cut, and in there you'll find pieces like that silver skin and muscle tissue that's still in there. We'll get rid of that when we make our final cuts. Alright, but if you look at that, that's just good looking, lean, all white meat. And the thing we love about a wild turkey, there's nothing wild tasting about it. Now, we're going to take pieces about, we're going to cut strips about that size, and then we're going to take that and kind of half it like on a bias, like that. So we wind up with a nice, we'll get that little silver skin off the back. We don't want anything to inhibit the marinade or the spice from going in. As you can see with me cutting that, that's a little tough. We pull that off. All right, getting all that silver skin off so nothing holds back the marinade and the spice. And as you can see, that's about as good as it gets with wild game, in our opinion. All white meat, tender, no probs. We come over the other side, we're going to slice this one the same way. Then we put it on a vise. Right there and you're left with that beautiful all white meat. And there's nothing wild tasting about a wild turkey. Period. It's not like other forms of wild game. I like deer, but deer has a little bit of wildness to it. You have to work around it. Just turkey, you don't. And we'll leave that guy just like it is. And we'll get rid of this silver skin on the back though. Any of that muscle sheath that you see, get rid of it because it's a little tough. But we keep another plate over there for that. Now one turkey breast is good for feeding about four people. You got good sides and things to go with it. Or three people that really like to eat. It's always important anytime you process wild game, and that's what why a lot of people when they get wild game say they don't like wild game, but a lot of it is in how you process. It's what you do from the time you shoot until the time you grill or cook that matters. And little things, little details like getting rid of this muscle sheath really matter. Get that sheath off, get it turned back over. We're going to make sure none of that goes into our finished final product. 
All right, we're getting our strips. And it doesn't hurt to have something like that. That's something that the grill man can eat because it's going to get ready before the others. And as you can also see, it didn't take us long to breast the bird out. It's not taking us long to cut these strips. And it really won't take us long to grill either. All right. Meat has been cut up. We got it all cut into fingers, if you want to call them fingers. All right. And we got just three basic little spices. Cavender's Greek, which is good on anything. Zesty Italian, which every redneck knows is pretty darn good on any form of meat. And a little bit of olive oil for our more sophisticated folks. All right, we're gonna do the one dry hand, one wet hand. Wet hand, dry hand. We're gonna put a good, not overdo, just a good base of our Cavender's Greek with the wet hand. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to be fairly liberal. All right, we're going to take that, get that spiced in, mixed up good. All right, then we're going to remove our wet hand glove because that's all we're going to need. It. And like I said, very, very simple recipe to be as good as it is. Then we're going to take, and we hope we can get it all in at one time, we take our turkey fingers, pour them into our plastic bag. After we get them in the plastic bag, we're going to add a dollop of olive oil, not to overdo, just a dollop. And then we're going to use a good zesty Italian marinade, which is going to dollop pretty well. We're going to liberally put in because all this is our marinade we want it to soak we're going to zip our bag shut we're going to massage that marinade through the meat just let that air out so we got plenty of massaging going on all right we're going to massage all those spices Get it all over so it evenly coats all our fingers. You don't have to overdo this, but it's good to know you want everybody sitting good and in zesty attack. Now, we're going to take this bag, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours and let the marinade really, really permeate. So I'll see you guys back at the grill after this is marinated. Alright, got the charcoal chimney, got the freezer. guys the charcoal chimney absolutely you need to awesome invention no greasy petroleum taste no nothing all natural right there all right marinade's done these have been in for about four hours sometimes even better if you go like overnight but there they are I'm fixing to throw them on the grill now, that's a look at it on the grill. Mm -mm -mm. I wish you could smell how good that smells. It's incredible. Always charcoal, never propane. If charcoal gives you the taste, you just got to monitor it a little closer. Now, we're going to cook for about 20 minutes, but we're going to flip regularly because if you don't flip, it'll tend to sear one side too much. So I'm going to start the flipping and I'll show you what it looks like after we turn it. Mm, hear all that sizzling? See that good white meat?
Now, just wanted you to hear that good grill sizzle. Now, we'll just let that cook. Give it about two more flips, 15 to 20 minutes tops. And I think if you try this, you'll be pretty darn impressed with it. All right, we're about 15 minutes into the cook. You can see that this meat, and you can feel it when you turn it, starting to firm up a little. You want it firm, but not too firm. You don't want to dry it out. But wild turkey is nice and juicy if you don't overcook it. We're looking at about three more minutes of cook time. If I had the best guess, I stole a little piece off the grill, which... Of course, you got a sample. Hmm. Done. Outstanding. And unlike Colonel Sanders, I'm not too drunk to taste this chicken. I'm just kidding, y'all. Now, hope you try this recipe. Use it again when you get ready. Excellent way to do wild turkey. It's quick, it's easy. Most important, it's very, very tasty. Thanks for watching us.